Ms. Legalista here. Thank you for joining the video. I tell you, <laughs> it's been a rough day today in terms of the tech issues that I have been running into. It's one after another. First, I had problems with the webcam. Then I had problems with the internet, which I'm still having issues with. And then I had problems with the audio. And the only problem with the audio was that I left the mic sitting over there. And so in the last video, it was awful. The audio is awful when you're used to having decent sound. Let me tell you. So I need to drop another picture in there of what my uh, test speeds look like for Verizon because my videos now have become just, you know, this opening rant on how bad my Verizon internet service is. We pay for 200 megabits per second. And let me tell you, I just took a picture of what I got. <laughs> I just did a test. You can go to, to Verizon's website. You can do a test on your upload speed and your download speed. So I got for the download speed, 17 megabits per second. And for the upload, it's at zero. And then it said test failed. You guys, prior to that, a, mi a minute before, because I redid the test, it just sat there. I opened it up. It wouldn't even open up completely. So it's Verizon just sitting there, not even performing the test. This is how bad it is at this point. And yeah, so I've had some conversations with my husband about asking for a credit. You know, here's how much you're paying a month, but you're not getting the service that you're paying for. I feel very much like this is a part of the conversation that I have when I'm talking to people about scams and fraud. In this case, it's not a scam or a fraud. However, they are selling you a service that they claim that they can provide. So am I having some issues with the fact that they can't provide this service? Yes, I am. One of the things that they told us to do was to check, uh, sort of download the app, and then you can check for the best place in your house. Well, we downloaded the app and we couldn't find the little compass thing that was supposed to be there to tell us what the best place was. So now we're supposed to be doing something else to find the best place. This is like having a whole nother full-time job that is not paying me. <laughs> I got better things to do with my time. So let's get back to talking about this breaking news. Now this is concerning because a lot of times what I talk about are scams and fraud from the perspective of you losing money. Okay, losing money, it's a big deal. People are losing lots of money, billions of dollars every year. Now we're also seeing people losing their property, right? Deed theft, that's a major issue. If you're the person who now no longer has title to your property, another big deal. But here's the thing. While those things can be worked out, there's one thing that can't be worked out. And that is when someone loses their life. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Breaking news out of, I can't even remember where it was. I don't have it up because it's going to pull too much from the internet. And I'm probably already going to have to not even do the cloud recording from StreamYard, which is what I'm using, but I'll probably have to use the local recording. It is all just a mess. But in any case, let me pull up this picture so that you can see what I'm talking about here so that uh, we can see here what's going on and talk a little bit about this. This is urgent search for home invasion suspects. Now there were actually two, I think. One has already been caught that one person is in custody, but it turns out they went to this person's home and stated that they were with the gas company or something like that. Now notice how he has, the, this is the person claiming to be from the gas company. Notice how, you know, he has outfitted himself. Okay. He's, he has on a mask. All right. He has some sort of identification on his chest. He has a vest which, hey, you know, is letting people know if you're out, it's bright, it's light, people are used to seeing that. And then he holds up this clipboard. And if you look closely, according to the media, it's got some identification on it that would make people think or fall for this trick that he is with this gas company or this utility operator, whoever it is. I want to say it was the gas company. So he's showing up with all of this to make it look like 
He is legitimate. And this is where we fall victim. This is where we fall short. Because it used to be that you could just trust that, right? Who is going to go through all this trouble? Look at the trouble that he had to go through with this. The dude has on a vest, a mask. He's got a clipboard. Look at him. He has, are those gloves that he has on? It looks like he has on gloves. So this is someone who definitely took some time to think about what his approach was going to be. And according to the media, they came to the house once, but then they came back. He came back and the homeowner let him in. He took the homeowner and the husband and wife, I guess it was, down to the basement. And yes, the husband is no longer with us. The wife is in the hospital. But look at what he went through to try to show people that he was legitimate. This is why I keep saying now the new rule is you cannot trust your senses on this when it comes to what you see and what you hear, what they look like, what they're sending you in the text message, in the email, what you hear, the audio. You can't trust the audio if someone's calling you because of voice cloning and artificial intelligence. You can't trust any of that. And now look, you have people coming to your home. I have done a video before where people have sent others messages stating, hey, I'm going to come to your home. I know where you live. Here's a picture of your house. They've done that before. But now here's where you actually have them showing up, pretending to be someone else so that they can gain entry into your home and do what is now looking like the worst thing possible that you cannot come back from. So this is a real threat. Scams and frauds are at a new level. And so we have to think about these things differently. This is the house. So, you know, look at how close the other homes were. It's not like this person who did this went to some secluded area where, you know, it was gated. And once he got in there, nobody else would see. No, mm -mm. these houses are very close together. Now they're very large homes, but look at how close together they are. Look at how close together they are. And let me go back to this other picture too, because the reason that they were able to catch this was of course, the security camera that was there caught this. People don't even care anymore. They don't even care. They will cover themselves up to some extent. Like I said, he's got the mask on. He's got gloves on his hands. It looks like from what we can see in the picture there. They don't care. They don't care about the camera. They just show up. They don't care if the other houses are close. They don't care. And so they're showing up anyway. But yes, so here is the home that um, was shown in the, the media report. And like I said, I would bring it up. I'll put it in the credits so that you can take a look at it. But apparently he owned some sort of shop. And they are thinking that this was targeted. So this was not some sort of them going to every home and just knocking on the door and seeing who was going to answer. The authorities think that he was chosen. He was picked out. They knew this store that he had. And I should have provided a picture of that here too. I want to say it was a jewelry store, pawn shop, something like that. But they think that these people specifically chose him for this purpose, possibly because they thought because of the store that maybe he had lots of money. And then you see the house and you think, oh, well, yes, he must have lots of money. And this is what they do. Okay. They dress up as imposters, as fake utility personnel, gas from the gas company or whoever, and they get let into the home. Do not let people in your home. Do not let people, if you are not expecting them, you know, a lot of times we have maybe from the security company, we have people coming who are contractors to the home. We have people who we have maybe who provide services like um, in the insect people, I don't know what to call them now, uh, that come up and show and spray your homes. You may have people who work on your yard. These are people that you ordinarily have services from that you get services from 
and you're expecting them to be there. You know who these people are. They send you text messages to let you know they are on the way. But when these other people show up, you now have to say to yourself, um, hold on, I'm going to call to confirm because that is my process right now. And you can let them know, fully let them know that that is exactly what you are doing. I'm gonna call the gas company because I didn't get a text message that this was going on and I should have gotten something. I don't believe you're who you say you are and I'm also calling law enforcement. And if you're legitimate, then you'll stand right here and wait for them. If not, we'll know that something else was up and now I have your picture. Well, I probably wouldn't say all that because that might get them upset and then they might just start shooting through the door. But let them know that you need a confirmation and call and confirm. Call and confirm. Independent verification is the rule now. Trust no one. Independently verify on your own. Not through a number that they give you or an email address that they give you. Pick up your phone and call. There is too much at stake now. You can't afford not to. And you also have to share this information with your friends and family. Okay, so like I said, the scams and fraud that we talk about is not just about money. It's not just about property. It is now about lives. And we have to be a whole lot more careful than we used to be. All right. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Hate to be talking about so something so solemn. This is so sad. This is so sad. But here, here we are. This is where we are now. All right. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. All right. Peace.